सूर्याय नम ओं सौ सुमाय नम ओं कुं कुजाय नम ओं बुं बुधाय नम ओं गुं गुरव नम ओं शुं शुक्राय नम ओं शं शनाश्वराय नम ओं राम राहव नम ओं कें केतव नम ओ जपाकुसुमसाशम काशपेय महाद्युति तमोरी सर्वपापन प्रणतस्मी दिवाक दधी शंख तुषाराभम क्षीरो दाणव संभव नमा शशिना सोम शंभोर्मकूषण धरणी गर्भ संभूत विद्युत्कंति सभम कुमार शक्ति हस्त तम मंगल प्रणमा हम प्रियांगु काली का श्याम रूपेण प्रतिमं बुधम सौम्यम सौम्य गुणो बुधम प्रणमा हम दिवना चिषिना चुरु कंचन सन्नीभम उदिभूत त्रिलोकेशम तम नमा बृहस्पति हिमकुंद मृणालभम दायत्या परम गुरु सर्वशास्त्र प्रवक्ता भार्गव प्रणमाम्यहम नीलांजन सभासम रविपुत्र यमाग्रज छायामर्तंड संभूत तम नमा शनाश्वर अर्धकाय महावीर चंद्रादीत विमर्दनम सिंहिकागर्भ संभूत तम राहुम प्रणमाम्यहम पलाशपुष्पाशम तारकाग्रहमस्तक रौद्रम रौद्रत्मकोर तम के प्रणमाम्यहम ओ शि 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 ओम दिस इज फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस प्रेजेंटेशन that it was purva paguni and now madonna purva paguni you see here 63% left so from 58 to 71 there is going to be 60% left on that account okay the first slide is a general overview of the uh, life of the person for everyone and also has the um place Uh, of birth with longitude latitude and uh, time zones with these parameters i construct the chart okay and where is this from that previous slide there okay the information is there so again we have madonna starting in her venus period because it's put of bagoni and then sun period usually for the artists we are going to jump through the first and second karmic period okay because you're going to see with alan's more set that is uh, she <laughs> we are going to discuss that but generally speaking the third karmic period is going to be important for the artists okay so the third karmic period from 77 to 87 uh, 87 c like a virgin it ends on 87 and that was not determined by namaste okay from 77 to 87 it's her third karmic period and then from uh 87 to 94 it crosses a little bit here to 97 i know but people who already undertook uh the consultations know and this is not part of this presentation because it would be impossible to cover this topic there is also a a concept that is dasha sandhi there is a slight period before that karmic period finish and there is like period where you can see the transition and i'm not showing this here okay because we have one hour and a half two hours to go through a big a number of slides but this can also be more developed if this was a 
doctorate session and we had two hours to present this and so we or four hours doesn't matter we could discuss these topics and we are going to discuss this on the course where we are going to understand why that 97 period where is it here that 97 period it's not up to 94 but it still is on the dash at sandy period from Mars to Rahu and so, okay? So here we have Rahu finishing its period around 2012, okay? And all those crazy Madonnas <laughs> mainly went on this Rahu period. I'm not so sure if you're um, very acquainted with her um, trajectory and so, but whatever. And 2012, look, 2012, here it finished the Rahu period around April. And in February, she's on Dasha Sandy and he makes, she makes a huge impact that is going to be with the Super Bowl and so. And then to the present, that is her fifth karmic period. So, so fifth, no, six, six. So suppose Madonna, calls namaste and say look i'm in doubt to see if i should be working more with this period with these people that are calling me to do this project and so i would say to madonna i would say to anyone doesn't matter have you attained what you were looking as a dancer or as an artist with your fifth karmic period if she says yes i look i would tell her you don't need to earn more money this money it's going to make your life go uh, in a wrong direction. And of course, this doesn't make sense to our capitalist mindset, but this is not talking about being uh, earning more and more money, but having fulfillment, okay? So if we finish our fifth karmic period with the sensation of fulfillment, we should be, that's again, we should be looking toward that our next incarnation or from a terrorist perspective, our retirement, it's meaningful. Maybe it will be much more worthful for Madonna to be with her child more time than to be going for a grand tournament that she earned much more money than ever, but that money is making her depressed, okay? So we gauge in our, cap in our capitalist society, more money is always better. And Vedic society is going to ask you, inside you, is this contentment? Is this self-awareness? Is this peacefulness? Is this santosha? If the answer is yes, it doesn't matter if it's earning billions or just earning millions, or it's earning whatever, because it's meaningful for yourself and not for the GDP, okay? I hope that I'm not going too fast here. <laughs> Once again, I have clicked in the wrong place. <laughs> Let's say, sorry, sir, sorry. <laughs> in your jokes.